Everybody out here on a beautiful day, could not get any better. We're gonna take a look at an issue with some GFCI trouble for a sprinkler pump out here. The reason why it needs GFCI protection is because we're right next to this natural body of water, which is found in the NEC code. So it has to be covered by a GFCI breaker. So that is going to be part of what the issue is. We're gonna dive into this and see what's going on. First thing I'm gonna do, we've got good ground here in this GFCI. So I'm gonna test this contactor, test all the leads, every point along which to make sure that we don't have a grounding issue, which we don't here. All right, while I was in here, I did notice that this is loose. So we're going to fix that. We're gonna check and make sure that the connection in here is good, that we don't have any cut wires because that could have been what was tripping it out at the time was a loose connector. Uh, just frayed wires right in there. See remnants of the past <laughs> laying around in here. Here on the motor, I pulled out the terminal. So we've got uh, our 120 side, 120 side. So these, both of these white cables are what's going to the motor windings. And um, that is where we're grounded right there. So I, I can't do much else to this motor right now. So we've got to get the actual guys out here for um, for the motor repair i unfortunately cannot do that so i mean could do it but it's just not what we do this is beyond us so uh diagnostics complete i guess i do always like to walk out of here with a complete solution a fixed system but when i've got a grounded phase of the motor there's just nothing i can do here so looks like they need a motor replacement unfortunately with this thing so at least while we're here we're going to come through and, and clean up all this garbage inside here for him. See you guys in the next one.